Hey, welcome to this demo video of uh, Voice Motions AI. Now, Voice Motions allows you to create voices with different emotions like joy, happy, cheerful, but also sad, angry, uh, maybe whispering. All of that is possible with Voice Motions. Now, Voice Motions comes with different options like the AI text to speech. And with this option, you're able to create multiple blocks inside of a dialogue creator. So you can have different voices inside of each block. If you like to create an audiobook with a single speaker, you can simply click on create audiobook and then you can paste your text in here and you can choose one of the voices here at the left side and then you can create the audiobook um, yeah, by pressing a single button. The AI content writer allows you to write all different kinds of content with a few keywords only. So you can write an audiobook and then use that audiobook in the text to speech option. Uh, but you can also write e-commerce listings, uh, e-commerce e -commerce features, blog IDs, email contents, Facebook posts, uh, Facebook ads, Instagram ads, etc. cetera. Uh, and an extra option also is the transcribe option where you can upload a video or an audio file uh, and then it will generate an SRT file automatically that you can upload to video services. Now I'm gonna start with the AI text to speech uh, where you will be able to create a dialogue between different voices. Now, first of all, you can paste your text in here. So for example, this is a text that I'm having here. Now, this is a very long text, but actually I'd like to add different emotions to different parts of this, this text, for example, or I wanna have different voices for each text. Then what I can do is I can click on import text and now I can paste my text in here. And when I click on Adri in here, I can choose the voice that I want to use. Now, as you can see here, uh, voice motions comes with a lot of voices that you can choose from. Now, you can also choose from a lot of styles here, like cheerful, chat, sad, assistant, customer service, newscast, angry, excited, friendly, uh, and many more, whispering, hopeful. All of these are available, uh, and you can also filter them by language. So for example, I want to have English United States then these voices are available for English United States. And I can also choose a gender here. So let's say I wanna do a female. Now I can use these females here. Uh, and as you may notice, here is an icon which says pro. And that means that the pro voices allows you to add different emotions. So the one that do not have a pro logo, do not have the different emotions, but these are very good voices as well. I'm gonna show you that later as well. In this case, if you'd like to listen to voices, simply click on the play button. Hi, I'm Jenny. I can convert your text to a human sounding voice. Or hear another pro voice. Hi, I'm Aria. I can convert your text to a human sounding voice. Sounds pretty good, right? And then we have Jane. Hi, I'm Jane. I can convert your text to a human sounding voice. So let's take Jenny here and let's click on close. Now we have copied our text here in this block. And when I click on import, look what happens for each line, a new block has been created here. So let's delete the first one. And now for each line, I can do different emotions. So for example, this is the default voice. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to multiply. Now, let's say for the second block, you want to have something uh, very cheerful. Multiplication is a basic arithmetic operation used to find the result of repeated addition. So that sounds pretty good, right? Now let's choose another one. Let's say friendly. Multiply two numbers, simply multiply the first number, known as the multiplicand, by the second. Or maybe you want something else. Let's say we do um, sad. Multiply two numbers. Simply multiply the first number, known as the multiplicand, by the second. So as you can see, you can choose all the emotions from here. Uh, newscast, all these different emotions are available whispering here. Multiply two numbers. Simply multiply the first number, known as the multiplicand, by the second. Now let's say for the third block, you wanna have a different voice. You can do that as well. So in this case, 
uh, one of the voices that I really like here is from the United States. It's a male voice and it's Stefan. Listen to Stefan. Hi, I'm Stefan. I can convert your text to a human sounding voice. So Stefan is perfect example for a teacher, for example, to teach things in a teaching video. Let's listen to him here. For example, to find the product of three and four, you would write three times four is equal to 12. So for each block, you are able to choose different voices. So here we choose Davis. This means that three multiplied by four equals 12. So let's say you're happy with the result and you're also able to add background music to your voiceover. From here, you can choose from the music library that's built in. So let's say you want to have the Aspire here. You can listen to the music. So let's say we want to use this audio file. Then we can change the volume in here. So let's say we do this at point two. Or you can also upload your own audio. Now let's hit save and click on generate. We give our project a name. Click on submit. And now the voice will be generated for us. And there it is. In this dashboard, you can preview the voiceover by clicking this little play button. So listen to the result. Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to multiply. Multiplication is a basic arithmetic operation used to find the result of repeated addition. So that's how you create audio with the dialogue creator. Now let's say you want to do an audiobook, then you go to audiobooks here, you click on create new audiobook, and then you can paste your text in here. So let's say this is our audiobook. Then we can choose a voice from the left menu here. So in this case, we also want to have English. And let's say we want to use English UK and listen to the voices. Hello, I'm Amy. I can convert your text to a human sounding voice. So let's say we want to use this voice. Then we simply click on generate. And now the audiobook will be created for us. Of course, you can also use this to create podcasts or blog posts. And here you can see that the voice has been created. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Success Stories podcast, where we bring you inspiring stories of individuals who have achieved extraordinary success in their... So the next option is our AI content writer. Now here you will be able to generate content based on a few keywords. So let's say we want to create an audiobook. And we click on audiobook and we give this audiobook a title. In the description, you write what you want to see in the audiobook. Select the tone. In this case, we're going to do friendly and click on generate. Now the audiobook will be created for you. And there you go. Here's the story. So once upon a time, there was a small mouse named George who lived in a cozy burrow deep in the forest. And you can see here is the story. So you can copy this story and then you can go to audiobooks, for example, click on create audiobook, paste your text in here and then choose one of the voices. So in this case, let's go by Steven here. Click on generate. And the audiobook has been created for you. Once upon a time, there was a small mouse named George who lived in a cozy burrow deep in the forest. Of course, you can also write other content here by clicking generate new content and choose one of the other options. So let's say you want to create a Facebook ad, click on Facebook ad, describe your service. And here we describe our product and we choose the tone by professional and click on generate. And as you can see here, the Facebook ad has been created for us. So like I said, you can generate all this content inside of voice motions with the AI content writer based on a few keywords. And that's in a nutshell what voice motions is all about.